This video is brought to you by Sayerite. Visit Sayerite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. If your sails, leech line, or foot line can no longer be tensioned appropriately, we'll show you in this video how to make repairs. Here we're going to show um, how to replace a leech line cleat. As you can see, this one got caught or stepped on it something. Right, this is the other thing that's that's common for. This doesn't even have to be that old of a sail. Uh, this one happens to be, but a Velcro, a Velcro closure for leech line adjustment, or a Velcro leech line adjustment like this. Velcro doesn't last forever. Um, we're going to replace this Velcro. We'll replace the leech line cleat first, then we'll move and repair the Velcro closure system for the leech line. We would take a drill bit that's a little bit bigger than the rim of the rivet. Just cut it, drill right into this. There we go. You can see the that pop off. There's my ridge. Here we'll do the same thing. But this should pop off at this point. Here we just want to make sure you're not stabbing into the sailcloth. We want to just get that under the cleat. And again, if it doesn't pop up, I'm not seeing much luck there. This one's starting to go. There it goes. So usually when you get one side that gives you a lot more pressure you can put on this one. Uh, again, if you try and pull it and it's a whole lot of work, you're cranking on it, just drill it a little bit more, you'll be all set. This should pop. There it goes. And then you just pull the back out. Now that the broken cleat is removed, we can install a new one that's available from Sayerite. I'll put the new one on. Again, you got to remember what your, pay attention to which way the cleats go. And you can always go in here and check it. Obviously, the line should not go this way, but it should be to pull that way and you're fine. Um, certainly, if you, if you did this and you, and you try and pull it here and it pulls fine, but you can't pull it down, it's pretty obvious that that's backwards. Most cleats will also open up towards the leech side. But here uh, we have a, should be a port side, port side cleat, which is what it is. It's what we carry. And you're just going to get the back plate. And the way to do this is you want to start with a back plate has the little divots in it to help it grip the sailcloth. Um, them down. Okay, here's just a metal block. You can see about three quarters of an inch, inch metal, six by six square. Yeah, if I can keep these together, get my rivets. Okay, now what you're doing, you're setting your cleat on here. And again, these are semi tubular rivets. So their hollow goes you know, only about 16th, eighth of an inch in. So we're gonna actually be pounding that, short of that. But you want something solid like this, you do not wanna do it in wood, or you'll get a poor set of the rivets where you may hammer it, and you'll actually shove the river out to the backside a little bit, and it will kind of give you a raw edge um, if you don't hold this tight. So you want something solid. I'm going to do it with a tool, deluxe tool, and then we'll do it on a tool without, without the metal plate because you most likely don't have that at home. You can see the rivets just flared over. Now we're going to do the other side. All right, so we're going to use our deluxe snap fastener base. I'm going to try and get on either in the center, like I said, you could get in the center. Try and get in the center, because that's what I like. Again, any flat metal surface will be fine. And you want to make sure you're in the flat part of the fastener or the snap fastener base. Again, we're all set. 
cleats stalled, grips, releases properly, new rivets, which will last another 10, 20 years. And next up, we'll replace okay. the tensioning system using Velcro. Uh, the next thing we're going to uh, fix that Jeff noted was the Velcro on here. So I'm going to rip this Velcro off and add these two new pieces on. Using a seam ripper, the stitches that hold the Velcro in place will be removed. Dacron sails need to be protected from the sun. They are either furled with a sacrificial sun protector on the uh, leech in the foot or let's say a Genoa sleeve and main sails are typically placed in a sail cover. However, Velcro will wear out faster than the Dacron sail in the sun so it typically weakens and needs to be replaced. That's why we're doing it here. I'm going to use a seam stick on this to hold it in place while I stitch it. The seam stick is a double-sided basting tape that helps aid to hold things together prior to sewing. The seam stick double-sided glue stays in place as you take it to the sewing machine and sew it. Seam stick will also be applied to the loop Velcro that will be sewn to the sail. In most situations, the Velcro should be adhered exactly where the old Velcro was removed, so the same length and same position, unless you noted problems with the way your system worked. We'll sew a zigzag stitch around the entire perimeter of this Velcro. This zigzag stitch is approximately four millimeters in length. We're using a V92 polyester thread and a size number 20 needle. We're also using the world famous Sailrite Ultrafeed LSZ1 sewing machine. Next up, we'll sew the loop Velcro to the sail. Now this is the clue assembly of the sail, and at the bottom near the clue ring, the sail cloth is very thick indeed. It is very impressive, the power of the Sailrite Ultrafeed LSZ1 sewing machine. You'll even notice at spots where Cindy tries to bury the needle in the fabric by rotating the balance wheel by hand, and she has a difficult time doing it. That fact is testimony enough to show how difficult it is to punch this needle through this multiple layer Dacron assembly at the clue corner of this Islander 37 sailboat mainsail. Wow! The Sailrite Ultrafeed LSC-1 is truly the world's best portable walking foot sewing machine in the world. That's all there is to repairing a leech line clam cleat and also a leech line Velcro tensioning system. Up next, the materials list and tools we used for these repairs. These supplies and most of the tools can be purchased at Sailrite. Be sure to watch our video showing how to inspect your sails for next sailing season, where Jeff Frank, Sailrite sail designer, explains how to check and repair a set of sails for the Islander 37 sailboat. For more free videos like this, be sure to check out the Sailrite website or subscribe to the Sailrite YouTube channel. It's your loyal patronage to Sailrite that makes these free videos available. I'm Eric Grant, and from all of us here at Sailrite, thanks for watching.